The Dungeness crab is the most abundant crab in California and one of the largest edible crabs along the Pacific coast of America. Adults are typically 6 to 7 inches across, but some can reach 10 inches. They prefer to inhabit sandy or muddy substrates in shallow coastal waters and are frequently found in eelgrass beds. They are tolerant of salinity changes and can also be found in estuaries. Their habitat ranges from Alaska to Mexico. The back of a Dungeness crab is grayish-brown with a purple tinge. The body is broad and oval, covered by a shell called a carapace. The top of the carapace is smooth and spineless. There are four pairs of walking legs. The crab uses the legs to walk sideways across the seafloor. Dungeness crabs have smaller, shorter legs in relation to their body size compared to other crabs in their habitat range. The claws are typically white-tipped. They are used for grasping, tearing, and defense. Two pairs of antennae are used for touch and smell. A number of modified appendages act as a mouth used for cutting, picking, sorting, and crushing food. Dungeness crabs are foragers. They scavenge the seafloor for many fish and invertebrates that live in or on the sediment. Crabs must molt to grow. Molting also allows them to regenerate lost appendages. Prior to and during molting, the crabs absorb water into their body tissues. This expands the body to a larger size, causing the old shell to split, allowing the crab back out of its old shell. Young crabs molt more frequently. During the first two years, the crabs shed their shell several times a year, increasing in size with each molt. After molting, the new thin shell is vulnerable to puncture, so a crab will hide by burying itself in the sandy bottom for several days. Adult crab populations tend to molt simultaneously, females in the spring to summer and males in the late summer. Adult males and females in a population tend to molt at different times so that the males will be hard-shelled and able to mate when the females molt. Dungeness crabs can only successfully mate when the female is newly molted. For this reason, in early spring, adult male crabs seek female crabs that are likely to molt soon. Crabs stay in a pre-mating embrace until females molt. After females molt, male spermatophores are deposited. The embrace often continues so the male can protect the newly molted female. Each male may mate with more than one female. The female crab stores the sperm in internal pouches until her eggs are fully developed and her shell has hardened. Then females begin extruding eggs and then fertilizing them with spermatophores stored from spring mating. Females can store sperm for as long as two years. Old, large females will often use stored sperm to fertilize their eggs rather than molting and mating. New eggs are bright orange. A large female crab can carry two and a half million eggs. Females hold the eggs in place with a wide abdominal flap. They are carried for three to five months until hatching. Egg-bearing females often congregate and bury themselves in areas of suitable substrate so they are sheltered from winter storms while they incubate their eggs. As the eggs develop and become closer to hatching, they turn blackish. They are then released into the water. Newly hatched crabs are planktonic and are transported primarily by currents in the water column. They must go through multiple larval stages before they enter the first juvenile stage and begin to resemble a small crab. In Alaska, larval development takes from 4 months to a year. They can live between 8 to 13 years. Dungeness crabs support commercial, personal use, and sport fisheries. For more marine facts, click the subscribe button.